Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid Extreme. Your faithful Black Shadow is here as always, um, after having done a significant amount of off-screen work. We'll get to that in a moment. Last time, when I load the correct save file, uh, last time we managed to make our way all the way to the uh, the the cyborg ninja boss battle um, but quickly realized that in my current state we weren't going to beat him we just didn't have enough health yes dead people snake must try to rescue the metal gear chief engineer dr Hal emmerich to find out how to stop nuclear launch i'm going to the high voltage and electric fours nuclear warhead storage building second floor basement goodness me snake sees a bunch of dead enemy soldiers and the stealth camouflage shadow Sensing the endangered life of Dr. Emmerich, Snake heads for the lab in building second floor basement where he is trapped. Woo! Bit of slowdown, folks. Holy crumbs. Right. So, what did we go and do off screen, folks? Well, um. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the basic rundown here. Uh, that's our inventory. Here is our health. I have managed to go and get full health and a spare ration for my troubles. Um, it took me a long, long time. I went pretty much everywhere in this entire complex. I must have murdered about 40 guards. I must, it took me about an hour or so. I managed to watch an entire, listen to an entire episode of Question Time while doing this, folks. And if you know what Question Time is, without having to look it up, brownie points to you. Um, but I've managed to make my way back here. Um, and we are about as prepared as we are ever going to be to take on this fiend. Here we go. Meanwhile, the up on my D-pad is being a touch unresponsive at the moment, which is going to cause problems. Hello there, sir. You will die. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Now, what I'm also going to have to do, I know I've got myself a bit of health here. I'm still going to have to learn some lessons from the last time we took this guy off. good, Snake. Must be said, we, uh, we, um, still... You know, we've got to be very careful that I don't get myself caught up in trouble, so... Good. Now we can fight as warriors. And your head is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Now what I've also got to bear in mind, because this guy still... Uh, if I've got plenty of health, that, he's still going to kick my backside doing attacks like that. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Yeah, you see, normally he used to just do that in a straight line. He kind of doesn't do that anymore. This is a problem. So I'm going to try some little tricks. Let's see if we can't make any use of these little things. This could be a genius idea. Ah, oh, that's this. That's depressing. He said a verbal one. Well, well, actually, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Gone, Fox. He's coming down the right side. Oh, there he is. Hello. No, come on up. Come on over the vet. Come over. O over, over the table now. No, don't beat up PC. PC did nothing to you, Fox. Good boy. Hit and run. Get him. Oh, shit. See the problem, folks? That attack is so annoying. Really difficult this. I mean, I know I've got full supplies. That is absolutely no guarantee that I'm gonna make this. That doesn't help. Get him! Yeah! Have it him, sir! This is real, real hit and run this. But there's not much of a way to make this particularly easier, so oh gosh. The hell did he hit me? Ah, invincible! Oh, bastard! Yeah, I'm 
learning your little tricks. Like fighting bloody liquid here. Right, we'll use our health. And I'm going to have to just manage. That jump we've got to be careful of. I mean, it's quite depressing that I... Uh, that was... I, I got caught on this. That was weird, man. I mean, that attack is a bit strange anyways, and that sometimes it, it'll, it'll hit me, and sometimes it doesn't. It's The homing feature is very frustrating. But it's kind of depressing, the fact that basically, after every boss fight now, I am basically have to spend like an hour off screen getting my health back. That's a depressing thought. I mean, one of the reasons I decided I wanted to do Metal Gear Solid in the first place because I wanted to do a couple of games where I didn't really have much off-screen work, if any, to do at all. Now, admittedly, with um, Alone in the Dark, the game decided not to play ball with me for a couple of videos. And that's fine. You know, that was just the game being a bit strange, really, because it's it's not the greatest ran game in the world. Let's be now, honest. Make me it's, I, I mean, it's a wonderful it. game, make me feel alive but you know, again. some games can be great and not technically amazing. I mean, uh, you know, there's plenty of examples of those over in history. Um, you know, but that's just how it is. So, you know. Look. Oh! Now we can oh, he's over this warrior. side for once. Hands your head. It is the basis of all combat. Well, that's different. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. But it has dawned on me the sheer amount of off-screen... Oh, yeah. The sheer amount of off-screen work that I'm going to have to do in this game, this extreme run, is depressing. I'm just throwing that one out there now. Get here. Yes. Because, well, I mean, I'm, you know, it, it's just... I know, I knew it wasn't going to be easy when I started this. I'm well aware of that. You know, I've done extreme runs in the past. You know, I've, um, I've uh, you know, I've done it for that Metal Gear Solid 2. I, I did one. I don't think I ever did one for Metal Gear Solid 3, but... Oh, shit. Oh, right, didn't have the rationale, okay. Well, that was a load of crap anyway. Um, yeah, I knew going into it that this wasn't going to be a particularly easy thing to do. Um, you know, I mean, they're, they're pretty challenging. Just I didn't realise how challenging this was going to be. Yeah, this, this up on the D-pad is proving a bit unresponsive, which is depressing. I'm going to have to uh, sort that out. First, I've got to figure out what the hell was causing that, mind you, but, uh, you know, it could be anything. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. But I don't know how long this is going to take to do this fight. I mean, you know, the, uh, the tank boss fight took long enough, must be said, you know, but not too bad. Now we can fight this warriors. And dread is the basis of I'd probably all argue that the tank boss fight was harder the first time around. They didn't know what the hell I was doing, really. But, uh, yeah, this is just... Oh, shit. Oh, I, oh, I did hit him. Well, I, I thought I'd uh, fluke that. Or I missed. And, That's not helping, it must be said. You know, when I'm getting the hits, I want to kind of land all of them. Fortunately, that's not always happening, which is a uh, problem. Come on over. Thank you. Oh, shit. You know, and I have already professed many, many times how hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game is not my forte by any stretch of the imagination. Which, from there is, you know, I, it, I'm, I'm just not used to it. Oh, you sneaky boy! How did you? I didn't know you could do that and jump over while doing that. Well, I'm mildly, I'd say, impressed, but. 
I mean, this is just an annoying boss fight, you know. I mean, even when we did this on normal, I got my backside handed to me during this. I got slaughtered. It's just back then I had enough health that it didn't really matter. I could get away with it, basically. But like I say, I don't know how long it's going to take to do this boss fight, but we're going to keep going at it. And I'm going to show every single attempt, because, you know... What would be the fun of me uh, doing this boss fight, you know, and just editing out all the rest of the uh, the rubbish runs, so you know that it's going to see is more like, Wait, where's the tension in that? The drama! Oh shit! I, I needed a... Uh, I needed a, a get out clause. I feared I was in a bit of trouble there. Besides, but why would I want to edit out extreme footage if you guys asked me to do this? Why would I want to deprive you from that authentic gaming experience that you guys so desired? I mean, it would be uh, it would be an insult to both yourselves and Metal Gear Solid as a whole. I mean, I could, and I, I just couldn't live with that. I mean, could you? The worst part of this as well is I can't really use save states in this because if I do, uh, this game is going to have to fit at me. So I have to do this legit as well. I can't save state really halfway through. There he is. That's him. I see him. Oh, that's going to be bad. I'm so dead. Oh, there he is. Throw the chaff. Get out of jail. That was one of the slowest chaff grenades I have ever seen in my life. I can hear him. Shit. Right. I don't like having to spam the chaff grenades to be fair, but I, I'm kind of being forced to a bit here. What I've got to remember as well Hurry up and catch is when I actually then go and attack this guy to try and... Oh, I'm in trouble. Is that when I then actually then go to try and kill this guy, I've got to run away. I had no idea. If you guys saw him before he attacked me, you're better at this than me. You should be doing Metal Gear Solid Extreme Runs. This could well turn out to be half an hour of me attempting to beat this boss in Vader. That is not beyond the realms of possibility, folks. I, I, yeah. I mean, as I say, I've already played this game for an hour of trying to kill many, many guards and failing very often. I must have had about 15 continues off screen trying to no, kill guards to get back. Me it proved surprisingly difficult. Partially because it was difficult to get down the other side. It was just a, it was a mess, basically. That's good, Snake. There we are. Let's get, let's get our equipment out that we're, so we're ready now to go. We can fight as warriors. And dread. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. I'm never going to look at this guy the same way ever again when this is all said and done. Oh, what's he holding? Run away! He plans to cheat! Using technology, I shall kick him in the back. No. Nope. I tell you what, folks, me holding this chaff grenade is screwing with his... He's not being as aggressive as he normally would be. I don't know. Ow. 
I would like my health back, sir. If that's not too much to ask. And there I was, I thought I was onto something. It was like, it was him, me holding that, it was like being hesitant to attack me. And then he does that. It was a genius idea which kind of fell apart. Hey, it looked like it was going to work for a little while, let's be honest. Right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to knock off the thing of my mic. Hold on. It's an old mic and the, the, uh, the little fuzzy bit does have a tendency to fall off. Sorry about that. Right. Gotta like get him to attack me and not manage to hit, and then counter attack him. Way too dangerous to actually physically. Oh, hello! I mean, there's a very tiny moment there where the very start of the attack, he, da he dives forward. He's still vulnerable, which is very important to remember. Wow, how did that not hit? There he is! Go and get him! That's what you get for being a cyborg. I know it wasn't even your own decision, but that's beside the point, sir. Believe me, I'm not playing nice anymore. Oh, hello! This is why you keep rations down, folks, on your inventory, so they're automatically used! Now I'm going to die! Well, thank you, game, for telling me where he is when he's halfway across the damn map. Where is he? There he is. Not sure why the first one didn't hit, but okay. There he is. if I see it, but there's no guarantee. He's on the right side. Oh, I'm not getting him. Throw another chaff! Save yourself, man! Someone should have put the chaff grenade away! Shouldn't they, you idiots? Well, we've learned plenty. Oh, Deep Throat here doesn't like to see me holding chaff grenades. We've learned that much today. Isn't that good? Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, yes, hello. Oh, Brucey bonus. Whoa, that was fortunate. Didn't realize it was there. Like old times. I've been waiting for this pain. Now we have some interesting times. Now he's going to do his clever little I'm going to dodge around shit. Huh. Hurt me more. Could be arranged. This is so precarious. It's a joke. One wrong move. This is over. Now. Oh 
shit. Oh, I'm lucky. Run! <laughs> Terrified he's gonna do his electric ball shit. I don't mean that. Yeah, I knew what I meant. Run! Run, man! We've done it! I think we've done it! Shoot him! Where did he go? Shoot him! Wherever he goes! Huh, shot him through there, that's one way of doing it. We've done it! Uh, we did it! I felt that snake. I'm actually slightly surprised! Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. What? Not again. What's happening? Lost yourself a long time ago, mate. Just gonna throw that one out there. Uh, is it over? God, I'm glad that's over. Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to it test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Of course, plenty of cutscenes still to go. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. <laughs> we can't stay here forever. <sighs> Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Meryl. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. <laughs> Love that There's line. something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. 
I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! It's amazing I how they managed to keep him in the I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear equipped place. walking death mobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? Shocker. So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the President personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. It did have a laser on it. I was wondering what the hell that thing was that was shooting at me. Whee! You die! A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? No party pop. What do you think? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the that practical data they need. That is a bizarre way for Mr. Hader there no. to be saying. It just looks strange. Could it be? Like, folded arms, cross It just looks strange. Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you Not link these, you can once. test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. S -s Damn. <sighs> I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind? It's just in the movies. <laughs> it's enough game. crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? I forgot how long this cutscene was. Or selection, I should say. Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where is that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex.
I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I'm gonna I take it Rex. with me. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Duh. Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Him and his leg, he's j he's what a fake. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. Ah! I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. Look to the background. Over there. <gasps> oh no. Damn, they spotted me. <laughs> Meryl. Ah, what happened? I didn't notice that first time around. I know they it was mentioned. But... Something's wrong. <laughs> Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? That, yeah. What did she look like? I didn't like? quite catch that she, first time. She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. Oh, here we go. Children, look away now. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way Is that walking, half the huh? cast of this game just absolute creeps? If she's I mean, disguised as the enemy, sakes. you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Yeah, Snake. Here, use this security That's card. what we needed. It's security level four. With that, we can go and grab our thermal goggles. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. Damn They're still the schools. best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part they in it. Anyone ever watch any of this? Did. Out of curiosity, if anyone I ever did, let me know. Make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted if to make robots exists. like the ones in the Japanese animes. <laughs> really, it's true. Of course, there's. Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. I mean, there's, there's of course, lots of different animes. Of course. You're that right. Sort of thing. We have to I don't know if this one existed. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want <laughs> from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Liar! I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Oh, so his leg's fine. Double liar. How on earth did we get to bloody associate ourselves with people like him? I mean, what? So much deceit. Disgrace. So what is our maximum health, folks? That much. Doesn't that look spectacular? Oh dear. Right, let's go and quickly get um, house frequency on our list. You still haven't found Meryl? Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? Righto then, kids. So, um, what we're going to be doing next time is I'm going to be wondering what on earth I'm going to do with my health situation. Am I really going to have to play the game for another hour off screen just so I can kind of uh, 
get my um, my health back again. I don't know. I I, I suppose I, I'm gonna have to get some health back. And as uh, is apparently quite clear from this game, outside of taking on guards, I'm not going to be getting any at all. So we'll have to see what happens. We got other bits and pieces we need to do as well. So uh, we're going to head in through here. We're going to save the game. And then, as I realize how much work I've got to do, I'm probably going to end up just slitting my wrists. Snake, there's an old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassa like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just a theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton radar system or the Kodak system. I just wanted to make About something that, that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich too. But he was used like a tool. He used to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stopped making things. I don't know. Getting all right, too, isn't she? Right, so let's save the game. And next time, we are going to be making use of our brand new level 4 security card. And going to try and get ourselves some little prizes that uh, have been eluding us for a while. But we'll have to do that next time. So thanks for watching. See you then.